This, this comes primarily out of that 18th verse of Psalm 102. This will be written for the generation to come. That people yet to be created may praise the Lord. When should the church speak to the state? With this kind of mandates from the scripture, we must be speaking to the state. And the reason we speak is because it's tied to the gospel. Now you realize this as well as I do, that not every child who's aborted is necessarily going to grow up to be a praiser and a worshiper of Almighty God. But when the church has put her gospel shoes on and she's entered the battlefield for the lives of those who bear the image of our Almighty God, we engage in this for the possibility that the unborn may eventually one day praise God. Would not that be a gospel motivation enough for us to go here to do this? 